Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Newcastle Ninja here. What I have for you today is a different version of the very famous Vostede Raccoon. And as you can see, this has the crossbar lock, but it's also in G10. And <laughs> this is my first yellow knife. And I was this close to getting the orange one. And I saw the yellow one and I just had to get it. It just really popped. And a uh, great thing about a yellow handled knife is if uh, you happen to drop it in the grass or anywhere, it's a little easier to see, just like the orange, rather than your standard black or brown or green, which can just, depending on the light of day or whenever you're using it, you might drop it. You know, uh, be able to see this here pretty good. And I gotta say, uh, I'm liking it. It's not really got a aggressive type of uh, texture to it, but it does have a grit to it. Kind of like one of those orange peel kind of feels for uh, the grit on this G10. And I gotta say, this G10 is very very uh thick and strong and definitely looks like it's going to be a great user and enough about that here's the knife it's got this great pointy drop point with a really nice belly on the blade beautiful satin finish we are looking at uh, 3.25 inches of a blade which is 14C 28N Sandvik Steel, and uh, yeah, I like it. And the crossbar lock is nice and smooth. It's running on those caged ceramic ball bearing, and yeah. I was going to get a Raccoon initially when they came out, because uh, they were predominantly just button locks at the time. But you still can get this in either your choice of crossbar or button lock. And huh, there are a lot of different variations of color for handle, uh, blade, and so forth. For crossbars, you can get this with a black micarta with a satin. You can get it with a brown micarta with satin. A green micarta with a black stone wash. You can get this in orange G10, like I mentioned. A white G10 with a black stone wash. And what you see here, the yellow with satin for G10. Now, for your button locks, you can get uh, frag patterns, uh, fragmentary patterns, uh, like that grenade type of pattern. Uh, you can get with blue G10, you can get blue micarta. Green with stone wash, gray G10 satin, red G10, yada, yada, yada. Uh, now, in late July, White Mountain Knives has an exclusive version that they're going to be coming out with that's got the fragment type of pattern, like you see here on the grind, that's going to be in a black micarta with a satin finish for the 14C28N. All of these knives, whether you see them on Amazon, White Mountain Knives, or so forth, 59 bucks. I mean, that's a really, really solid, great, sharp using knife that can pretty much handle, like, everyday carry tasks and cutting purposes with no problem. This is overall, we're looking at 7.60 inches, and the blade again is 3.25 inches. And man, look at that satin finish on that. And yeah, Vosteed knives are razor sharp. The blade itself is like one inch wide, and the thickness on it is 0 0.10 of an inch. It's got some nice little jimping there, and the thumb studs are very nice. You got dual thumb studs and flicks right out just fine. And uh, the handle is 4.35 inches. And I guess from here to here as the widest point is 1.2 inches wide. 
and this only comes at 3.39 ounces so it's a great little user i mean it's you can barely even you can't even really see it if i have an enclosed fist but it's nice nice little reversible pocket clip there they do have this inset here that you can take if you want to switch it over there if you're a lefty and as you can see the screws are nice and flush with the handle and i'm really liking this handle i'm liking it it's i don't know it it, it doesn't feel like a toy or nothing it's certainly much more uh feels stronger than dare i say a bug out um but you do have milled liners as you can see and uh yeah they're inset there nice steel liners and this is a really nice solid little workhorse and 14c 28n you're not going to have any problems there speaking of sharpness i mean it is a laser not a problem let's see can i do a little hair shaving for you there i'd say so huh. like no problem whatsoever i'm liking it and i am liking this yellow but again you can have your choice of different variations of colors or what have you you got a nice sharpening choil there and you can even sneak up a finger there if you really want to get into it and hold it in there. But, man, it's, it's got a nice, solid feel. It's Let's see. I'd say it's maybe just over a half inch. Maybe, let's say, 0 0.51 to 5.2 maybe for just over a half inch in thickness. But, yeah, those are nice, thick scales. And whew, smooth. You can, of course, uh, let's see if you can get a reverse flick there with the thumb stud. Haven't tried this yet, but eh, let me try that one more time. Yeah, not a problem. And, of course, look at that action with those ceramic ball bearings. Very cool. I'm digging it, and I do really like that they have this crossbar option there. Uh, not that there's... I don't know if there's any problems with any of the button locks. Button locks tend to kind of be hit or miss sometimes, but I know Vosteed's done really great with theirs, and whew, you don't have much hardware going with this here, holding everything together, but it has that nice thick uh, backspacer there. You do have an option for a lanyard there that's out of the way. And it's very comfortable. I mean, I have extra large size gloves, but I've got a full grip on there. Jimping is adequate. And, uh, yeah, this is a really nice belly of a blade. Reminds me kind of in a smaller version to the the uh, Labrador by Vosteed. But it even has more of that type of... I don't know. It's just really, really cool. But... For size comparison, uh, this is the Vosti Grind, and with that fragmentary uh, pattern micarta, this is a great knife itself. This is a 154cm, but can't go wrong with 14C28N either. So these are about the same size, but as you can see, the uh, Raccoon is definitely a wider blade, and this thing is a slicing machine, so... And a very reasonably priced one for a incredibly constructed knife. Fun to fidget with. And definitely easy to see if you happen to have a drop in the grass. <laughs> so that's about it. Hope you liked the video. And with that, please like the video. <laughs> Hit that like, that thumbs up there. And subscribe to the channel. Because, uh, well, I've got only more to be sending your way. These are all knives that i buy with my own money and these are just my opinions and that's about it so again you can get this on uh amazon you can get other places if you happen to go to white mountain knives you can use my code ncn for 10 percent off of the 59 dollars of your choice of Vosteed raccoon or whatever product from uh, white mountain knives you want to get get free shipping with them so that's a hard one to beat and that's about it hope you liked it and i'll see you guys on the next one
Take care.